Hi everybody, this is Cheryl coming to you today with a video about how to create a YouTube video quickly and easily without a camera. All you need to do is do it right through your computer and it goes right into YouTube direct. And it's instantly published to your account. So the first thing we're going to do is go to YouTube.com, click Create Account if you don't have one. Very easy, uh, short process. Think of a good username before you do it because you're locked into your username, which is the part that goes after YouTube. And then click uh, Sign In. So let's do that now. We're clicking Sign In. Right there we go. And now we're in Mana Success actual page. We go in and click My Channel, and I'll give you a peek at the page. This is the My Hi everyone, it's excuse here. me, the Mana Success uh, YouTube channel. So what we're going to do is go up to Upload. That's where you start when you want to make a video. And there are two ways that you can make a video. First, you can go to Upload Video, which is where you've actually made one and downloaded it into your hard drive, like from a camera or your cell phone, and then you're going to capture it right there. But that we're not going to cover that today. We're going to cover Record from a Webcam. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to click there. That means we're going to actually place the video live right now. And it's searching, and I'm going to click Allow, searching for the camera. And then once it finds the camera, there I am, right on the screen. I click close. Perfect. Looks then you line yourself up, fix your hair, looking good. Okay, I'm ready. You can see the volume's going up and down. So this is you getting ready to make your first video. So let's click record. And there we go. Now, first thing I notice, I'm doing what you're not supposed to do, which is looking at the computer screen rather than the eye of the camera. It's just a real... Um, normal inclination to want to just look at yourself because I'm looking on the screen at myself. I'm seeing what you're seeing and um, you want to look up at the camera and it does take some training. It takes some practice to get to look at this little eye right there and not pay attention to the screen and what's below. So and it really helps increase uh, the connection with people because you want to feel like you're just sitting and talking to someone across the kitchen table or you know just hanging out and talking and if you're not looking in their eyes you won't be able to convey that feeling. Um, you really want to do these videos, they're very much to create a sense of, of trust and connection and rapport and likability. And so you can convey that by looking in the camera. So that's the first thing to do. Okay, so we're ready to make our recording. Um, Let's see, I've already, we're already recording this right now, and so whatever messages that you want to give to the person, you know, whatever your update is, if it's a training, a yeah, welcome, something to someone personally, talking about a product, talking about the business, the industry, whatever you think that you might want to talk about, you finish your video, and you click. Oh, and before you finish your video, it's really important if you've got the guts to do it. A lot of people don't, but it's everybody, you know, that is on uh, YouTube does this, is at the end, ask people to join, subscribe to your channel. When you ask, they'll do it. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you comment below, and you can just you know put your finger right down there below. Whether you like it, don't like it, love it, hate it, whatever. I want to hear your comments. So please comment. Subscribe to my channel, and if you like it, please click your like button to share it with your friends on Facebook. So, and then then thanks for joining us today. And then you click your red button. That just stopped the video recording, and now you have three options. You can preview it, publish it if you're really confident that it was good or re-record it if it was a bomb and you want to start over. So let's go and preview it. And there we go. Now, first thing I notice, I'm doing what you're not supposed to do, which is looking at the computer. Okay, we'll pretend we watched the whole thing. That was a minute 47. And then I'll click that, and let's go ahead and publish it. Okay, now it's published. And it's very fast. It just goes in like that. Sometimes if it's a longer video, it may say that it's processing, and then you'll have these uh, picture boxes across the screen moving their way till it gets to 100%. But right now, that was so fast that it worked. So what you do, you have to do four things that are very important. You want to make an, a compelling title, a good description, fill out your keyword tags, and your category. Uh, first, let's click our date right here. Fill in our date. And what are we there? I don't do map and location. Um, and pick a good title that is including, it's really descriptive. You want to make sure it's very descriptive of what you're doing and includes some words that you think people will be typing when they're searching for your video. Okay, and you want to include those words in all these three areas right here. So that one was, let's just make up that it was uh, how to, how to's are very good. Whoopsie. How to 
I'm hitting the wrong button because my computer's up high and my thumb's laying on it. Well, let's just click that one in. How to make a YouTube video. It's easier than you think. And now description, you always, always, always want to put your domain name first. Your, if you're using MTEX Pro, use your MTEX Pro name or your um, at Meta Pages or your blog or whatever you're using, put that first. Make sure you put the HTTP colon backslash demo account dot mtexpro.com and I always just say um, I make a little comment you know like uh, see or learn about our global explosion into Mexico or something like that if you're using that that if it's a, if you're doing a product domain you can put that there and then just say click to shop for amber toast or whatever something like that then under your domain names you click you type in a good long description you know, this video will show you how to make a video without a camera, um, you know, learn how to do video marketing, like hit those keywords that people are typing in. Then you go to tags, and they've auto-filled three in, which I'll leave, and then I always put Manatech, Ambertos, even just for everything I do that. The MLM, Network, Marketing, etc. Um, you know, keywords that are specifically related to your video. You don't want to just put in fluff in there because you don't want someone to type in a word and then come to your video and go, well, it's not about that. And then they feel deceived. They aren't pleased with that. So um, make them related. Um, we are, you know, pulling uh, as many Manatechers as possible into this to make it a really strong community. So we do want to include Manatech and Ambertos because a lot of Manatechers will, will type in Ambertos. So that's why I have the product names. That's the only reason I have product name in a business uh, application. Then you pick your category, and I'm going to pick education. Some people pick how to or science and technology. And then I leave everything else the same and click save changes. So you've now personalized it. And the last thing we're not going to cover it in this video, we'll cover it in another video, but you want to annotate your videos. And that means you can add a heading to your video up here at the top. And there we go. Ooh. Now. And, and then you have a clickable link, put your MTEX Pro domain name on there, and then oh, to your shopping cart. And then, you know, say you're doing a great video on Amber Toast or Plus or something like we talked about, and then they can just click right on there and go right to your shopping cart. It's an amazing new feature they've added this year. And you just go add annotation and it'll explain how to do it right there. Learn more about video annotations and click publish. That's just a little side note that you can look on into yourself. Okay, so let's go back to the channel and see if um, the video is there. And there it is. Minute 47. And there we go. It auto now. opens. It's really important that you pick a video to auto open every time. And you can do that up in, I think, videos and playlist. Right here it says auto play because then you'll get more counts, you'll get more hits, and more people watching your video. And you can pick which video you want to auto play when it opens. That's just a little side note there that's important. Okay, so that has been how to make a YouTube video without a camera. And there we go. Uh, it always auto opens there. Um, just by typing, just doing your video directly into YouTube, and um, that'll do us for today. See you on the next video, and as I said, please subscribe to our channel and comment. Let us know what you think about the video, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, we'd love to hear your opinions, and if you do like it, please share it with your friends. Click the like button down below. So thanks so much for joining us. We'll say goodbye for now. Bye-bye.